No, it cannot happen. Apple teeny time? <laughs> I believe so. Now let's move on to No Country for Old Men, the first real classic space opera of the 21st century. What's the most you ever missed in a coin toss? Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. Just call it friendo. Now in No Country for Old Men, we come across Llewellyn. He runs into some problems with a, with a man named Anton Chigurh. I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. <laughs> you go up to this trailer? Yes. Do you want to leave a message? Yes. One of Anton Chigurh's classic moves involves flipping a coin to decide his victim's fate. Let's watch this clip. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know. I couldn't say. Call it. Call it, yes. For a whole lot. Just call it. Take a closer look at, at that shot. The physics of it. Improbable and impossible. Looking at the dynamics of the coin itself and the way he tossed it, there is no way that could possibly have flown that high. It's impossible. No one can ever flip a coin that high. And he caught it in his hand. Unlikely? My opinion. And another thing. What's up with his hair? It's weird. It's like a bowl cut, but like really long. And it, I don't even know how people don't think he's a bad guy right when they meet him. I mean, they realize pretty soon that he's weird because He's always talking like this. Call it. And I don't even. What's up with that hair? So, to sum things up, no country for old men, thumb up. Country. Anton Chigurh's hair, thumb down. Coin toss, thumb impossible. And that's about gonna wrap it up for me. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost in a coin toss? I don't know. I, I couldn't say. Call it. Call it? Yes. For what? Just call it. Well, we need to know what we're calling it for here. You need to call it. I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Look, I, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything, call it. <laughs> I'm here with you again. Now then, I'm Philly Hyman. Ah, uh, right now I'm going to discuss with you planets in the movie Star Wars. And how they couldn't actually exist in the real life world of space. Now the first planet I'm going to discuss with you is the immense gas giant Bespin home of Cloud City. Now, this is the one planet I have the most trouble buying. Uh, there are, of course, examples of gas giants surrounded by moons. Uh, we have that in our own solar system. But a band of habitable atmosphere? Now, assuming we take that to the mean temperature and oxygen without there being anything noxious or dangerous, that's certainly beyond our current expectations or measurements. Making this particularly tricky uh, molecular oxygen that we breathe does not occur easily in a planetary environment. Now, almost all the oxygen on Earth comes from life. Now, basically, what, what we're saying here is that Beth Ben is just in the cloud. Now, you're up there in the cloud, you got all the gas. Now, how are they going to be out there in the middle of those clouds, able to... 
Give me a second. Hold on a second. Talk to me. Not too much. Just doing this newscast. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Just stuff the turkey in. The yeah. No. Just put fill it. I, what I do is I put watches in it. Well, you could stuff it with beans. Usually, I stuff it with watches. Will do. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, Uncle Chip. <sighs> Sorry about that. That was my Uncle Chip. He wanted me to smack him. Now then, best bit. It is not habitable by any life forms, if it were a real planet, let alone Lando Calrissian. <sighs> now then, oh, excuse me, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Oh, thanks, blue hat, blue shoes. Ah. Bacotti and cola. It gets the job done. Alvin! <laughs> with me today to discuss another planet is Henry Two Shoes Nosy, nosy Ocean. <laughs>